So hey guys, we are here today with McKenna Magro. She is a slide team rider, obviously, and also the three times, right? Three times yeah. body surfing world champ. So that's three times in a row. That's quite an achievement for, what, 23 years old? 22. Almost 22. <laughs> okay. Almost 22. Only 22. So what was the first year that, how old were you when you won the first one? Um, I think 20. Yeah, it was 20. 20, and then how old were the people that you were going against? Um, so for the women's division at the Worlds uh, contest in Oceanside, I think we only have four divisions now. It's the 12, the 17, 18, the 29, 30, the 35, and then I think it's like 36 plus or like 40 plus. So there's a big range. Uh, the older women are really tough to compete with. I feel like the older you get, the yeah. better you get. But so, you know, they're a lot of talented women out there that we could definitely use a lot more. Yeah, so you were only, how old were you when you first started competing in the Oceanside competition? Um, I was a freshman in high school, so what is that, like 13, 13 14? 14, yeah. yeah, so I was 14 years old cool. when I first started. So I think, um, let's just start with what got you into body surfing from body the beginning. Surfing. Um, was there anyone that like got you in? Was it your family or? Well, the ocean has always been a big part of my life. Um, but growing up, I did junior lifeguards with the state of California in Carlsbad. So I did that for eight years before I became a state lifeguard. And I think there's a lot of body surfers that are lifeguards. Yeah, it's it's a fun thing to do, like on your break, you know, if you don't have a board and surf's good, you just go out and body surf. It's yeah. pretty simple and fun. Did your parents kind of push you into doing junior lifeguards, or did you just want to do it? It was definitely something we were <laughs> forced to do, but grew to love. Yeah. Of course, that's what I lived my summers for, was doing junior lifeguards. Um, but my dad and his siblings were lifeguards, and his main thing, no matter what sport we did, we had to learn how to swim. Yeah. Because we are surrounded by so much water. Um, but I love it, you know, gave me a career playing water polo, lifeguarding. Um, but body surfing, back to body surfing, it started as a junior lifeguard. Yeah. We would get, so in the mornings we'd do vitamins, lectures, and then free swims. And on free swim, you know, you get 30, 20 minutes doing whatever you want. So I would either surf or like go swim. One day I went to go grab a boogie board, not say anything against boogie boarders, but my instructor saw me grab a boogie board. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm going to go boogie board. He's like, no, you're either going to surf or body surf. And I was like, I don't know how to body surf. And I was probably like eight or nine years old, maybe even 10. And he's like, come on, I'll teach you. And his name is James Finney. Uh, <laughs> are you does, still friends with him? Yeah, yeah. He, I worked, actually worked with him. I instructed junior lifeguard program with him, worked with him out in the field. Um, but he does Oceanside contest as well, very talented. He's won the grand title with me, I think my first year. Cool. I won the grand, <laughs> That's awesome. I won it with him. So that was a pretty special moment for me. Um, That's really cool. Yeah, so then he, yeah. he taught me, taught my brother, like all of us kids growing up. Um, and then it, I just you know, slowly started picking up more and more on what to do, how to do it the right technique, how to place your hand, and what certain moves do certain things on the wave in your position. So. so did you end up stand-up surfing too, or just body surfing? Um, I did both. Like, I competed longboarding in middle school, but it was nothing like my brother surfing. Uh, okay. Like, I love to surf, but I'm not, like, amazing at it. Yeah. Um, but I do love body surfing. Like, it's just easier. Have a pair of fins in your car and you go yeah. to the beach. Surf's good. Just get out and go, you know? So who do you go out with, like, now? Is it your brothers or, like, by um, yourself? Like, typically? When it's good. So I go out with fellow lifeguards of mine. Okay. Uh, we have a little group. We're going to try and start a new, like, name for us. The <laughs> Beach Street Bums. Cool. BSB. Okay. <laughs> uh, we go to the spot in Carlsbad called Beach Street. It's a good spot, good shore break, nice little sandbar right there. So when the surf's good, nice south swell, like builds up really nice. Yeah. Um, it's a fun spot. So I go there with a couple of my buddies I lifeguard with. About three or four of us, you know, go out. I like to go out by myself too. Um, but yeah, 
So is that your, what's your all-time favorite spot? I know you go to Hawaii a lot, too, right? Yeah. So what's, like, all the places that you body surf, what's your favorite? Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, I love the spots in Hawaii. I don't, when I go, the surf isn't too great because I go in the summer a lot to visit family. Um, I haven't been back much in the winter because I'd always been in school when, like, since I became more into body surfing. Yeah. Um, so I would love to say spots in Hawaii are my favorite, but here, since I'm here in California, Oceanside, most of the time, I do love Oceanside Pier and Tyson Street. It gets really good there. It's fun. I like big closeout waves. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's also fun to ride them for a long time, too, but I just like getting barreled, mostly. Um, and then Beach Street, as well, is yeah. one of my favorite spots. I want to explore San Diego more now that I have more time and free time and go down to San Diego. Um, special spots like Boomers and Blacks. I want to test out this winter. Awesome. Yeah. So now you said you have a lot more free time, so you just graduated yes. from San Diego San Diego State. 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 Yeah. And what did you graduate with? I got my bachelor's in liberal science and art to become a school teacher, but I have chosen a different career path and I will be going back to school fall of 2018 and uh, I want to get a nursing degree. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Going to nursing, do traveler's nurse for yeah. like two years or something. I think for your undergraduate, a lot of people don't really know. I was supposed to go for, I went for teaching too. So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm here now, so not teaching. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think, you know, part of like with body surfing, it's, you know, there's a lot of, and just regular surfing, there's a lot of men um, and like it's kind of male dominated. So have you ever had a situation in the water where, you know, you had within the opposite sex that, like, anything come up with any issues or anything? Um, not issues with a male body surfer, but surfers I do, because okay. I just go straight out in the lineup and I totally play the game of respect and, you know, who gets priority and whatnot. Um, but usually when I go out in the lineup of surfers, it's like me and like another person. So it's okay. really hard for us to like get waves. But like when we do and like someone drops in in front of us, you know, like I try and say something and then they just harp back like, don't body surf here, like surfing only. I totally get it. I'm a surfer, but you know, it's just, we just need to have more respect for each other. But other right. than that, yeah, other than those situations, I don't have that many issues. Because I only pretty much body surf with guys. Right. And then I have like a couple girls that I body surf with, but you know they have things to do yeah. on the days we go most of the time. So I don't really get out with yeah. too many girls. So for women that are pretty intimidated, like myself, I'm pretty intimidated to go out in the lineup with other surfers. Like, do you have any advice for them on like how to go out and you know be confident out there, or you know what's your advice to help other women? get in the ocean and have that confidence out in the lineup. Yeah, so for me, especially on bigger days, because I love big surf, yeah. um, there are definitely going to be a ton of surfers out there, but for me, I just go out, um, I just charge it, and you know, after I catch a few, they kind of like see, they're like, oh, okay, like, she can do it, so I would just say no hesitation and just yeah. go for it and go out there and just do your thing and have fun smile, wave to the guys, like, what's up guys, like, <laughs> how's it going, surf's good, all right, I'm gonna catch this one, and then catch it, and it all yeah. kind of ends up pretty good. Awesome. Because everyone's sworn waves, <laughs> so, I don't know, that's what I do, I just kind of go out there, cheery and happy, and everyone wants waves. Cool. And, uh, so for your, when you're going into competition season, I know there's a lot of competitions in the summer. What do you do to prepare for them? Do you do like any training? I know you're a dancer, you're talking about Tahitian dancing. Um, do you do anything particular to prepare for competitions for body surfing? Um, yes. So, like I said, I played water polo. Um, so the swim conditioning always helped, especially with the Oceanside contest. It's a lot of swimming. Catching a wave, long rides, and you have to swim back out. You only have 15 minutes per heat. so. Having good condition, uh, conditioning and endurance from swimming really helped me a lot. 
Um, during lifeguarding season in the summer, I, on my breaks, I'll either body surf for the whole hour or just do runs, swim runs the whole time to like keep up more endurance. Yeah. So, I don't know, just as much conditioning as possible I try and do, but now that I'm done playing water polo, it's going to be interesting to see how I do now with my <laughs> body surfing. Um, but I plan on getting back into swimming, joining a master's program so I can keep that conditioning and endurance up because uh, it's just good for my body and I know it's good for my body with when it comes to body surfing. So just a lot of that, leg strength and getting some upper body workout. So are you ready for the competition this weekend <laughs> that you have coming up? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really excited. I heard yeah. there's going to be some solid surf up in, up in Ventura. So, so what's the competition? It's the Ventura... Ventura Body Surfing Classic. Okay, yeah. so that's this weekend, December 2nd. Yeah. It's posted at the South Jetty. Um, Do you know if there's still any openings, if anyone's interested? I don't think there is. It was very limited entries. Um, but we're hosting at two sites. I'm not sure what the second site is, but I know it's at South Jetty. There's so far 90 competitors wow. competing. That's yeah. a lot. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's three male divisions and one female division. Um, so I'm excited to see who's you know showing That's really up. Cool. Yeah, and it's gonna be fun. So come out and just. Um, if you're not registered, just come out and, and watch. That's yeah. that's a lot. That's 90 competitors. That's good for mm -hmm. December. It's going to be you a know what big event. Is supposed to be? I heard four to six, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not too sure if that's actually going to be yeah. what it is. But I heard up there, like, when there's good surf coming through, it's going to be good. Like, this week we saw some size down here in Oceanside, so I'm sure it's going to be pretty solid yeah. up there. Okay, last question, and then we'll open it up to people that might have questions that is watching. So, when you're competing and you now you've won three times the Worlds as grand champion, how much do you think is luck of the waves, and how much do you think is skill? What do you kind of base that on? Do you think it's you have, have had good luck or um, skill? Um... I don't know, I feel like a lot of it is my conditioning, um, especially this last year. It was really tough for me. Like, uh, I think it was my semi-final or quarter-final round. I was not feeling too confident about my heat. Um, wave selection is really tough this year up in Oceanside. Um, everyone knows in the mornings it's always better. There's no wind. And just the selection is a lot better. So later in the afternoon when we had our heats, um, it was really tough. So like barely any surf, like there's like six girls out there trying to fight for the best wave and like every five, ten minutes like two, three set waves would come through and it's like, okay, like I was getting really impatient, I'd catch like one wave and the next thing I know I turn around, three bombs are coming out the back and chicks are on it and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I would have waited like two more seconds or something, like I probably would have been able to get on those. Um, but I think just... You know, having the willpower to ride every wave as best as I can for as long as I can, like doing tricks, um, yeah, whatever. What's your strategy? Oh man, <laughs> uh, I always try and do some kind of entry. I like dolphin underwater takeoffs. Um, always try and get like two, one or two spinners. I want to try and get at least three on each mm -hmm. wave, and just riding it as long as you can to show the judges that you do have the leg strength to stay in a wave and endurance to keep up with the wave and then I just bust my butt back out to the lineup and try and catch like the next big wave. I give every single heat my all and I want to come out of the water after every heat feeling exhausted and want to collapse because <laughs> then I know that like I gave it my all no matter the circumstances, the outcomes and I was actually surprised that I even won my heat, my final heat this year because I was just like man, like, there's two other girls that caught tons of good waves, like, the points, like, the scoring points were really close mm -hmm. this year for the final, and I was like, you know, like, I'll accept it, like, you know, you gotta lose sometimes, yeah. like, you can't win every Who single Who were one. those women? Um, remember? I know one girl was Annie Howie, she's from Encinitas, uh, I used to lifeguard with her, she lifeguards with my sister, cool. and then I think another, the other one was Coral Berry, she's from L.A., and then... Natalie Pompa, she's always a good competitor. She's yeah. from, she's a local. She's one of my good friends. I like her with, but just like 
everyone in that final uh, heat was just fierce, competitive, and like everyone was going for those set waves, and I was like, I don't know, like I didn't really do that great. Um, so I was just <laughs> well, you like, messed up because you won. <laughs> yeah, and I was just ex accepting the fact, like you know, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Like it was fun. I had a fun weekend. That weekend's always one of my yeah. favorite weekends of the summer. Always looking forward to it, seeing everyone that comes out and stuff. So yeah. So favorite fins. I like vipers. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a viper yeah, chick. Hey, that's great. Hey, you yeah. like vipers and favorite either bathing suit or what's your favorite swimsuit or whatever. What do you body surf in? Uh, I always body surf in Joe Lynn's. Um, I like them. Their bottoms have a nice tie and it's a good fit. The tops, there's tons of different tops that they have. Um, but I like wearing like the uniform top so there's no tie in the back. It's just straight like sports bra style. Will you wear a wetsuit this weekend? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I will definitely be wearing a wetsuit. And then, um, alright, very last question. Who is the, who's your idol? Like who would you want to body surf with? Top person that you haven't body surfed with? That I have not body surfed with. Anyone that you like really want to go out with that you've never gone out with? Um, Maybe uh, Sean and Oka. I, <laughs> like, I love all the guys from Hawaii, you know, and they're all extremely uh, talented. Sean, and, come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, like, seen him out here, you know, comes out with the boys the last two summers, but he didn't come this year. Yeah. Uh, but I'd love to get in the water with him. You know? oh. They're all extremely talented. And I'd love to learn a little something from each and every one of them. All right, make that happen. <laughs> John, good on it. <laughs> All right, so are there any questions from anyone watching? Uh, type it in. We'll wait a couple minutes. Daniel Carr's on here. Daniel, you have a question for us before we sign off? No? <laughs> All right, then we are going to sign off. Thanks, everyone, for watching.